How's it going guys? Welcome back. And as part of this little series of short overviews where I take a look into certain features and aspects of VPNs today, we're looking at the usability of Surfshark. So before we begin, if you guys are interested in Surfshark, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as a full on review that'll give you more of an in-depth look into their privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security features. So be sure to keep that in mind. If you guys are interested, you'll find everything you need in the description below. So Surfshark's website is nice to look at, but after a scroll here and there, you will find out that, yeah, it's a little bit of a cliched website where you don't really get much information, especially, you know, uh, just having come from the ExpressVPN blog uh, where they have tons of in-depth information, very valuable uh, VPN and cybersecurity information. Their blog part is just not so impressive. The articles in Surfshark's Learning Center uh, are more substantial, but still quite basic and often confusingly worded. For example, the encryption page discusses the fundamentals of AS encryption, but omits information about key generation, authentication, and perfect forward secrecy. The result is too difficult to follow and glosses over many uh, necessary topics. So yeah, that's uh, in terms of the website, it's great and easy to look at and everything, but uh, the information can definitely use a bit of a uh, polishing, let's say, for lack of a better word. Though uh, Surfshark didn't get off to a great start with its website. Things do get much better when you move from the website into the application, as you can tell here. Uh, very cool that they provide a dark mode. I always pick dark mode whenever I can. And of course, there's an app for almost all the popular platforms, uh, plus Smart DNS for others that don't support full VPN. Smart DNS may not be as good as a VPN, but it should appeal to those who use their gaming consoles and smart TVs for streaming and non-sensitive and other non-sensitive geo-restricted tasks. The apps themselves look great and provide a surprising amount of features without sacrificing simplicity. Users of all skill levels should be able to navigate through the settings with zero problems. As you can tell, it is as simple as that with dark mode uh, connected here or turned on. With connectivity, you'll find everything you need. It's super simple. Auto connector, whitelister, which is uh, split tunneling, the kill switch, clean web, which is the ad blocker. And there you have with the no borders mode and the selection of protocols. And that really is it. It's as simple as that. You do have a speed test to give you all kinds of uh, information if you're interested in uh, knowing all about the latency, upload speed, and download speed. But if you just care about latency, for example, you can just click this little button right here and it will give you a rough aggregate of, of all the uh, servers ping, which is very cool to see. And that goes for all platforms, not just the desktop apps. Generally, mobile VPN apps are far more limited than their desktop counterparts. But in Surfshark's case, most of its features are present in all apps, including some like, of course, the kill switch and clean web, like I just uh, mentioned earlier, that are frequently absent from mobile apps. However, one aspect of Surfshark's apps could use some upgrades, the location picker. It works well for what it is, and you can favorite whatever you want here. Uh, but I do appreciate, for example, the way ExpressVPN lists their uh, servers, which is based on a region or continent more like. So if you're looking for an Asian, uh, let's say country, you can just go to the Asia Pacific server or, or list server list and pick whatever you need there. And uh, it'll just single out all the Asian servers. And the same goes for American and European servers. But these servers are listed in an alphabetical order, which makes things a little bit easier. Plus, you can search for whatever you want here. Uh, but at this point, I'm just nitpicking the uh, application itself is super good and it never lags overall it functions very well and it has never failed me well not even once so it's very well coded so if i were to give this application a score in terms of usability i would have been more inclined to give it let's say an a minus but i would like to give it an a thanks to the speed test feature which surprisingly enough you don't really find it in many vpns and they do provide it here which saves you a lot of time from testing different servers which takes quite a bit of time usually and it even tells you which servers are virtual which servers are physical which is really 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 helpful and i really appreciate surfshark for doing that so i might even be inclined to give it an A to an A plus, but we're going to stick with the A because getting an A plus is going to be a little bit more difficult than that. Uh, besides that, 
that will be it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Again, if you guys are interested in Surfshark, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as a full-on review, which will give you more of an in-depth look into the advantages and disadvantages of this VPN. Besides that, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.